Welcome everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tutor, back today with another amazing geometry node. And oh boy, this is one amazing geometry node. And keeping with the season, we decided to create a snow and ice node. And I can honestly say, I think this is the best one we've ever made. Check these out guys, we've had so much fun here at the office, taking some of our old scenes and some of our old courses and just putting snow in them. Even going as far as to put snow and ice onto our Arabian course scene that we're currently working on. And you can see just how easy it is to get this effect. So let's jump right into the geometry node and let me show you exactly what it can do. So the first thing you'll notice is we're using Blender 4. Yes guys, it works in the new Blender 4. So this is the scene that you will be greeted by. And at the moment you can see that we've got the geometry node on here. We've got the snow and the snowflakes hidden away. So let me show you those first though. Those I think are one of the most important things. So your snowflake, so let me just grab the snowflake, let me just turn off the snow. Here is the snowflake, so let me just move that out of the way so you can see that. All you need to do if you want to change this is just bring in a new texture. It's basically just a uh, texture with um, a transparency on it and then you can actually change this out and you'll have your own type of snowflakes. If you click these on, you can see here they're all made up of this and the best thing about these is we can actually animate these. So you can see that they're actually falling. Let me double tap the A and there we go. We can also keyframe these. So at the moment we can keyframe how much speed. So let's say we want to speed these up for instance, we can actually speed these up like so. And now you can see you've got much, much faster snowflakes and you could actually put this at one speed and then let's say at uh, frame 200, we could put it at uh, five or something like that. The other thing we can change is of course the angle so we can have it in a blizzard like so. And the other things we can change is the size of the snowflakes. We want it to be as versatile as possible. And this is only the snowflakes by the way. So even the geometry you know, with the snowflakes is really, really handy. And let me show you as well that we've also put colliders on here. So anything, that is, for instance, in the collider. So you can see where it says scene. Anything you drop in there, this actual snow will not go through it. It will just hit it and then it will stop. So that's really, really handy to have. Now, how do you actually get your snowflakes in, you might ask? Well, we've made that easy as well. So all you need to do is just bring in anything. You can bring in a cylinder if you want. Let's try that. So we'll bring in a cylinder and what we'll do is we'll make it uh, bigger like so. And then finally what we'll do is we'll add in a geometry node and we'll bring in our falling snow. And there you go. It's simply as easy as that. Then all you need to do, just put in your collider, which will be the scene. And you'll see now that as it comes and hits, you can see it hitting our uh, Suzanne and you can see they don't actually go through. And then we can also change the density to something like 20. And there you go. Simple as that. All right. So moving on then, that is the snow. Let's then come to um, Suzanne. So let's uh, just get rid of this and then we'll talk about the actual snow. So to put the snow on anything, I'll just build um, something as well. So let's press uh, Shift A and what we'll do is we'll bring in a cube. I'll bring it up, make it a little bit bigger. And what I'll also do is I'll come in, bring in an edge loop and then I'll just pull this out like so. And there we go. And let's also give it a material just so we can see what we're doing. So we'll give it the house material. And then what we'll do is we'll come in and I'll show you Suzanne. So let's come over to our geometry node. And you can see at the moment we have something called height and maximum angle. The maximum angle, if I turn this down, let's say to 0 0.7, it just puts it on basically where can the snow go. So basically which angle can the snow actually come on. So normally I would put this to 1. And then we can change the snow height now. So we can start bringing it down, as you can see, all the way down to zero, or we can start bringing it up. Now, the other great thing about this is, as you can see, I can just keep going up and up and up, is that we can also change the displacement. So if we change the displacement, you can see that we can actually make this snow much more, you know, kind of rocky type snow or ice or something like that. And we can also change the resolution. Now, I find when I change the resolution, if I go higher with it, it means that generally it will come closer to the edges like round here. So it's up to you. If you want to turn it up really, really high, you'll see that you can actually get it where it's actually quite close to the edges like this and actually looking a lot more realistic. The other thing we've actually done is we decided to put snow around the icicles if you want to. At the moment, you can see you've got icicles coming off of here under 
you know, rye here with no snow, but you can actually come in and put some snow there. So if I put this on 0 0.2 and there you go, and I think that makes it look just a little bit more realistic. We can also turn our icicles off at a click of a button or turn them on. And then finally, we've got some density here as well. So this one here is maximum distance from each other. And I decide to put that on five. We can increase how many icicles we've actually got in there. And we can go really, really crazy with that. The other thing is we can also increase the uh, maximum length of the icicles so we can bring them down. So if I bring this up like so, we can go really, really crazy with this thing. All right, so we can also right click and we can um, come in and reset them all to default values like so. And the other great thing about this is the snow, for instance, you can actually keyframe it as well. So if you came to the snow and you wanted the snow to be, you know, at zero, you can actually keyframe it by clicking on this. And you'll notice now we had a keyframe and let's say we want the snow at 170 to be on um let's say we want it on two for instance and then we can keyframe that one in and then we can go now from 70 to 20 and you'll see as it jumps through the keyframes we'll start actually getting snow and you can see it's actually working in real time now so you can see snow actually coming onto our actual object all the way up to 170 let me just click on there and let me just press pause and there we go you can see just how easy this thing is to use now before we just go into the geometry node let me just show you on here then so we've got this part here let's uh, just reset all the transforms right click to origin to geometry and let's say you just have a new scene um you know with an object in it make sure everything's joined it does work per object and then all you need to do is add geometry node click the down arrow uh, snow and icicles and let's turn this up to something like two. And let's also put this on one, like so. And let's also turn up the uh, resolution, like so. And let's turn up the displacement. And let's turn up the resolution a little bit more, like so. And there you go. Simple as that. Now let's bring in some icicles on this one. So let's put this on two. Let's put this on uh, two as well. And there we go. We've got icicles. Let's make them a little bit longer then. And there we go. We've got icicles coming off of our object underneath. And you can see again how easy it is to use so now let's take a look at what it looks like when it's actually rendered so when it's actually rendered you will see if i just take this off this is what it actually looks like so not e not only have let's actually put uh, the the uh background on so let's put it on film and let's put this transparency off not only have you got really, really nice snow, but you can see you've also got beautiful icicles as well. All right, so that is basically the geometry node. I hope you guys really enjoy it. For those of you interested out there, I'm just gonna quickly go into the geometry node and what I'll do is I'll show you how it's set up. So you will be able to, if I just hide this out of the way, see exactly how this is set up. So just take a screenshot if you want to, and you should be able to follow along then. I'm just gonna move it over, and then I'll move it over here. And we'll zoom out of it, don't worry as well, so you'll be able to see everything together. We don't want to hide anything here. For those of you who want to set up your own uh, geometry nodes, this is how it's actually put together. Like so. And then what we'll do is we'll just quickly go down to this part that we've just missed. And there we go. I don't know if we'll have enough images to put this on Gumroad uh, this time, so just make sure you come back and take it from there. And as always, guys, the links will be down below where you can grab this. And give us a like on the video if you like this sort of thing. Drop us a message down below about what geometry nodes you'd like to see. And let's get right on with this. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. And don't forget, we have a ton of geometry nodes out there. We have our waterfall. We have our roof tile geometry node. We have our palm tree geometry node. And we have our meadow tree, uh, sorry, meadow and grass geometry node, which is uh, personally one of my favorites. Um, maybe this and the waterfall it's also that one's also the best seller that and the roof are the best sellers so far all right everyone so i hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you on the next one thanks a lot bye bye